This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Buongiorno. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. So let me uh, get you up to speed since the last time we spoke. So I checked into that little shed, that little tiny home in the beautiful village of Lukabad. And uh, I spent a lovely night under the stars in that hut. I uh, didn't sleep a wink. I have a terrible cough and it was keeping me up all night. And so the next morning I left and came on the local bus down the valley to a town called Luke or something like that. Anyway, then nipped on a train to Vesp, which is the kind of turning point to the Valley of Samat. This huge long valley gradually snakes its way slowly up to the town of Zamat, which is the end point of our hike and at the base of the beautiful, famous and striking mountain of the Matterhorn which is our end point, which is quite exciting. So yesterday I just slowly walked up this valley, about 15 kilometers. And uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't the most sort of uh, life-changing of, of walks. I just kind of walked slowly up past villages until I got to a town called St. Nikolaus, which is where I'm at now. And uh, everyone here speaks Italian, hence why I was like speaking to you and greeting you with buongiorno. Hello. Yeah, you've got the Statue of Mary and Jesus, you've got St. Nicolaus, and um, there's a Catholic church here, and everybody speaks Italiano. Yeah, my initial plan was just to walk to Randa today, 10 kilometers, stay a night there, and then walk up to Zamat. But I'm, you know, I'm thinking we can just push it. I think we can just go the full what, 20 kilometers today slowly snake our way up this valley nothing too crazy steep we do have to gain about a thousand meters in elevation but over 20 kilometers that's not too bad that's easily done so i've packed my bags and we're on our way the final stretch so come along with me So what I can gather is all of the glaciers up on the Matterhorn in the high mountain region down the valley are melting into this river. This river flows all the way down into the basin and there is a road and a train track that follows this river all the way to Zermatt. And it's quite a narrow valley, so there's no need to get our map out every five minutes. We're just going that way.
I just stopped next to these shaggy long haired goats. Have a look. So overall, I think this trip's been a little bit more stop start than I anticipated. With a motorcycle, you can literally go town by town, city by city, day by day, and there's no, there's no shortcuts involved. What I've realized is it's very tempting in Switzerland. <laughs> you see a train, you see a bus, you see a cable car, they're going everywhere. You see something up there that you want to go see? Well, you just jump on a cable car and you're there in two minutes. And you know, we could easily just jump on the train or the bus and just skip this last bit. We've done a lot of the high passes. We've done a lot of beautiful hikes so far. We've recouped a few kilometers here and a few kilometers there to make up for a few bus rides and train journeys. But I just thought it right to finish with this long walk from this yesterday. I, did, I filmed bits, but it wasn't very interesting. I was just kind of in the shade following a, a road and it took three hours to St. Nick's and then I just pulled into a hotel. This might not be the most dramatic hike to finish on, but you know, not every adventure ends in a dramatic way. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I really think we're just going up a valley. The train that just went in there, that's the Glacier Express that goes from Zermatt back down to Visp. And I haven't decided where to go next or what to do. When I reach Zermatt, I have uh, three nights booked in a hostel. I got a private room and for three nights, it still cost me over 500 USD, which is very expensive for, for what you see. Like here's a clip of it now. When I reach it, you can see it's just a basic room. There's a lot to see and do in Zermatt and I'll make a whole video about that place when I get there. But after that, when the series is finished, I haven't decided if I'm gonna get that train back to Visp and then get another train to Milan, Venice, and do some more mountains and do the Dolomites. Or do I get the train back to Geneva and just hang out there for a little bit and catch a flight to the UK and see my family? Or do I do something completely different and get on a flight somewhere random and just do another European adventure. So I haven't really decided. I think when I get to Zermatt and I've had a few days exploring and sort of reflect on this big hike and do my laundry and I reset a little bit, I think that'll be an easier decision to make. I'm not quite fed up with the mountains yet. <laughs> Putting it lightly, it's, uh, it's been nothing but a joy. Have a look at these fellas. Quite literally, toon army goats. How are you the toon? Toon, toon, like a white army. <laughs> my local team. That's my Premier League team, Newcastle. They play in black and white stripes. How are you the toon?
here in Switzerland, they have so many. This is probably the most abundant flower, the dandelion. Now, where I come from in the UK, this is considered a, considered a weed, an ugly plant. But here in Switzerland, especially with the tourists, the Chinese and the Indians, you'll see them picking them and standing there, taking those slow motion video selfies, <laughs> blowing them. Um, but they are, they are quite beautiful, really, and especially here when they're in so many numbers in the sunlight. As I attempt to not only grow my YouTube channel, but to create a bigger, more professional brand around Next Level Adventures, I know the importance of having a fantastic looking website. And if you're looking to create your own website, then I really recommend Squarespace. They make it really easy for you to do so. Simply pick one of their award-winning templates and then customize it to your exact needs with a few clicks of a button and you're good to go very quickly. I recently just decided to change my homepage and add my YouTube channel as a widget so people could see my most recent uploads and it was really easy to do so. I just copy and pasted some URL code into a new section and I'm definitely not a web designer and it took me two minutes and it looks great. You can also create premium products or premium services and sell that behind a paywall in a members area. Again, that's really easy to create on Squarespace. You can add your social media accounts with a click of a button so people can follow you and know exactly what you've got for sale or what kind of promotions you've got going. So head to Squarespace today, completely for free, create your website, see how easy it really is. And then when you're ready to go live, head to squarespace.com forward slash Paddy Doyle and you'll get 10% off. just spotted something quite beautiful. I think I'll get the drone out to give you a better, closer look. So behind me, yeah, you can see the waterfall. And at the base of the waterfall is a bunch of ice and snow that's yet to melt. And I just saw a deer walk across it. And he probably said, oh, it's nice and cold here on this hot sunny day. I'll just lie down and cool down my belly. <laughs> and there he is just uh, relaxing. I think it's a girl actually, there she is relaxing underneath the waterfall just casually on the snow and ice with a billion dollar view of the Swiss Alps. the Matterhorn Golf Club. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> I would love to play around here. Well, I'm sure you have to be a member. And I bet it's not cheap either. Here we go, go on love. Nice backswing. About another two or three hours. Beautiful, great day to be alive. Must have seen about 50 trains go by today. They're beautiful, aren't they? The way they just snake through the countryside. I love that bright red against the green of the valleys. Gorgeous. It's crazy to think there's still snow. Even though like, 
I'm filming this in June. You're probably watching this, if you're watching it when I just uploaded it, in July, maybe August. And there's still snow. And ice. I mean, we have been walking up all day, but not... doesn't feel like... <laughs> it's cold enough to have snow and ice. Obviously, a hiking series is going to be a little bit more chilled out and less exhilarating than, say, driving a motorbike across Vietnam or something. But I just hope, because we're coming towards the end of the series, a couple left to go, I hope that I've given you an escape. I hope I've given you a little dose of the Alps a little bit of peace and quiet whenever I wasn't coughing or talking. My biggest regret of this trip was that I was sick almost the entire time. I remember waking up in, in Grindelwald the day before the big hike was gonna begin. Back of my throat just swollen up big time, glands. And that's always the beginning of it for me. And then it moves down into my chest and into my head. <sighs> and I've been battling with it. <laughs> it's been the only down, downer for me. Is uh, coughing my guts up the whole way up these mountains. When I think back to each series, every, everyone had something different, you know, like obviously the provinces in Thailand were strung out over 13 months. And that was more watching me navigate the COVID rules and the red zones and the orange zones and being one of those fortunate people to be locked inside a beautiful country. And it was such a special moment to be traveling Thailand with no tourists. There were times I thought it was rubbish because some places are meant to be enjoyed with others and seeing things close down over and over again. But the emotional evolution and maturity I went through as a filmmaker, as a YouTuber, and as a person slightly, it was great to see that theme running through the content. And then we went to Vietnam, which was just a massive adventure. You turn the camera on in that country, and that's it, that's all you have to do. Such a great thrill. And then we went to Laos. You know, that's my favorite series. If you were gonna ask me, there's just something magical about that place. And I was in my element on my new motorbike on Zelda. Some of the footage I was able to capture in that place. That series really, I think, is a time capsule of Paddy Doyle's happiness. Cambodia was fun, but it was quite short. Then we went to the Philippines and I just decided, hey, you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's have some singing, some dancing. So I just thought, let's come at it from a different angle. Let's be a bit different, let's be a bit weird. Loved that series. Did really well as well. That was great. And then, Mini Adventure to Bali. What a mini series that is. I'm sorry I had to drag it out once a week, but I needed to give myself time to do this. And then that brings us to here, the Swiss Alps.
there she is the Matterhorn Woo! there she is we're so close now she's hiding in the clouds but we can see her she's there okay we've just got about one or two kilometers left this helicopter is making a racket and there's lots of wind so let's get into town and let's get a cheeseburger and a beer And just like that, we're back in civilization. Okay, we're here in my little hostel room, private room, which was nice, but two twin beds, which is so annoying, but never mind. It's got the most incredible view of the Matterhorn. And if I just position the beds and move them around, which I'll do in a minute, I'll be able to just lie in bed and see that in the morning as I awake. I've got four nights here. So just over 100 USD per night. I, I thought I only had three nights. Um, it cost me 500 US for four nights, which with this view, this location isn't too bad. I've got my own room. Um, yeah. I've paid more and I've definitely paid less on this trip. But I'm just going to sit somewhere very close by after my shower, enjoy this view, watch the Matterhorn do its thing, and have a cold one. Thanks for watching, and see you very soon. Listen, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to watch the next one, then just click here. And if you enjoyed the video, hit like, hit subscribe. Completely free to do, and it helps me out. Thank you.